Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to my channel and a happy holidays to you all. So I'm gonna give you guys a heads up and let you know, a heads up? Why did I go into that accent? I'm giving you a heads up. I'm not gonna be uploading the next few days. I've decided to take Christmas Eve, Christmas Day and Boxing Day off uploading. I basically don't want to stress myself out pre-recording. I want to have a lot of festive things up before then and after then. So pretty much Let's Plays are on hold until the new year and I'm also going to be taking a break for the next three days. So I wanted to wish you all a happy holidays right now in this video. If you are celebrating Christmas then Merry Christmas. If you are celebrating Hanukkah or any other holiday traditions then happy holidays to you. You. If you aren't celebrating anything, just enjoy your time, relax with your fam or friends, just treat yourself, okay? So today's video is a little bit different. I have actually disabled all the packs minus seasons and we're going to be playing with the pancakes. If you're wondering how I disabled my packs, James Turner aka Sim Supply is dead. He actually has a handy dandy tool which disables packs through Origin. I will leave that link down below but I thought for this festive occasion I am going to celebrate Winterfest with the pancakes. So the first thing we obviously need to do is we need to festive this lot up. So we're gonna leave him in his Christmas cargo pants, but we're gonna put this Christmas jumper on him. Eliza already has red hair for the occasion, obviously. And you know what? Eliza is a mood killer as well as probably a man killer. I'm surprised Bob is even still around to celebrate this Winterfest, but she is a mood killer, so she doesn't wear a Christmas outfit. She just has a red cardigan that she wears all the time. And of course, we have little Iggy pancakes because we needed their kid so that we could buy presents and stuff for him. So Iggy is dressed as a Christmas tree and has green eyes for the occasion. And I love Iggy. Hashtag Iggy deserves better. And Iggy truly the pancake after my own heart, is already in his Christmas tree outfit. He is the only pancake that matters in this video. But their house is feeling a little blur. It's not really looking very festive at all. So I think we need to go to the gallery and download a festive family home for the occasion. <gasps> a festive Victorian by Spooky Baby Sims. Let me go on the most popular. Uh, we have a festive family home. Oh, these are all so cute. And this one uses cats and dogs and get together, but mainly seasons. Oh, it's not furnished. This looks festive AF. And there's a kid's room, which is good. And there's a Christmas tree, which is definitely what we need, but it uses all of these packs. So let's see how this goes. So we're actually gonna have Eliza come over here and actually we're gonna have Bob. We're gonna have Bob decorate with ornaments. We are gonna go with the traditional red and gold. We, oh, we, we have to decorate with Eliza. We can't decorate by ourselves. Please do not start wicked women up in here. That is not a Christmas miracle. That is a Christmas sin and nobody who is watching this video needs to see all of Eliza's junk hanging out, okay? I don't want that as my Christmas gift because honestly, I feel like that would just ruin the whole of 2020 for me. How does she sabotage the tree? That sounds like an Eliza thing to do. I feel like Eliza Pancakes would definitely sabotage the tree because that's just the type of person she is, you know? She has a reputation in The Sims 4 for a reason because she is a stalker and she's also just like a terrible person in general. I'm actually, she's materialistic, neat and a perfectionist. Maybe she would decorate the tree, you know, that perfectionist gene. How, how do you sabotage? I need to know. <gasps> she's sabotaging it right in front of Bob's eyes. Are you serious right now? He is about to call you out. She... It became a skinny legend. This looks horrific. 
This looks like you have just decorated that whilst drunk. You know what really annoys me about Christmas trees in The Sims 4 seasons? It's the fact that toppers, there's a white and gold, there's a red and white. Why is there not a red and gold topper? Like, it makes no sense. There's red and gold decorations, there's a red and gold garland, but there isn't a red and gold tree topper. Sims team, why would you do that to me? I broke my game. Bob, where are you, sir? You're meant to be sorting out the garland. Oh, he did it. This tree is disgusting. And he just farted. At least it was a festive fart. He's clearly been eaten too many sprouts. So we're gonna add a red and white topper and see how bad that looks. Stop, why is he farting so much? Seriously, boy, you better calm down. And our child is sad because it's cold. Oh no, we're about to kill my sims, aren't I? Definitely about to kill all of my sims. Why does Iggy love a grand meal from being a charmer? Can he even eat a grand meal? I guess we should send Eliza to prepare a grand meal. Cook a grand meal of turkey dinner. The most traditional of the Christmas dinners. Do you guys have Yorkshire puddings on your Christmas dinners? Discuss. How does that make you feel? Let me know in the comments down below because I know it's a controversial topic. I personally love a good Yorkshire pudding on my Christmas dinner. I hate that. That looks like a festive dildo and I dislike it. Ugh. Ugh, I don't want to even imagine what Eliza Pancakes has done with that freaking tree topper. Oh my god, Iggy can get excited over the presents. This is his very first Christmas so he's gonna poop his pants with excitement. We're gonna open our presents with Bob pancakes because let's be real, Bob is the only parent that currently cares about Iggy. Eliza just wants to, she just wants to put on a show. She wants to show Father Winter that she's an amazing mother by cooking this grand meal. When in reality, she didn't put any money towards these presents. Does she even have a career? No, she's unemployed. Iggy, did you open your present? Oh no, your dad opened it first. Bob got a duffel of cash, he will treasure it. <gasps> did Iggy get him a cash prize? Oh, what did Iggy get? An orange topaz. Oh, don't pretend that you're in love with that. Iggy, you can't even play with it. Why are you excited? And that's it. That's all you got. That's more disappointing than getting a lump of coal. At least like toddlers can enjoy a lump of coal, you know, it gets them dirty. Toddlers love being dirty and like active, but he can't even interact with this whatsoever. But he can make a measly 15 simoleons out of it. She can't even cook a turkey right. Eliza, why are you like this? Look at how disgusting that turkey is. Now we definitely aren't gonna impress Father Winter, but you know what it does have? It has a big blob of butter on the top, ready for Bob to demolish. This is chaotic. Who the heck puts green and red lights and then blue icicles? Honestly, I do not trust anyone who uses blue lights for Christmas. If you feel as if this is a personal attack on you, then good, because it should be. Also, why are there palm trees in Willow Creek? Can someone explain that to me? This freaking Christmas tree is a mess thanks to his demonic mother. We are gonna sing Fruitage Lang Syne, um, but I feel like we're gonna sing Hoppel Borfner. Is that happy birthday? Are we about to sing happy birthday? I mean, I guess we could be singing happy birthday to Jesus because we all know that that is the true meaning of Winterfest. It, yep, that's exactly what we're doing. Oh 
Hop above, not bear Jesus. I wonder what Jesus is a simlish. No, erase that. I don't want Plumbella to come for me. So Iggy, you got some more presents. Come down here and open them whilst your mum wants to uh, wants to have a cheeky little hook up in bed with Mr. Father Winter. We're gonna ask for a present and I think he knows exactly what present I'm talking about. It's an explicit non-PG rated present. Oh, what's he gonna give her? What's he gonna give her? Is she, please give her like a cock roll. Oh, damn it, let there be light laser show. That's not what I wanted. I can't believe Eliza is here trying to break up her own marriage by freaking flirting with Father Winter. Eliza, why are you like this? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. They're genuinely just going to woohoo. We love wicked whims. What's his personality archetype? Wait, what's hers? Greedy and caregiver. Greedy Sims focus on generating. I thought they were just gonna be in the nude. Bob, Bob. Bob, you need to see this. Bob, you need to see this. I need to open up your eyes to what your wife is doing. Yeah. You see that? You shouldn't be jealous. You should be thankful. Oh, he's fuming. Bob's gone as red on a freaking cherry on a coconut pyramid that I make with my grandma. That was a very, very specific, specific reference. So I am sorry if... You sleep with my wife and then you sleep in my bed on my side of the bed. How dare you? Go and fight him for presents. Bob, you need to show him who's boss here. Yeah, be jealous. Get angry. Fight him for presents. Steal the presents off him, dude. Okay, stop being jealous. Go fight him. Why is he wearing those underwear? I hate it. <gasps> oh my god, when we fight him, the whole dust cloud is red. Incredible. Winterfest is off to a great, great start for Iggy. We're just setting him up for disappointment. This is what it's like to be from a broken home on Winterfest. I really hope Bob wins this, man. If Bob doesn't win this, I'm gonna be so disappointed in him. Bob, you better win. Bob didn't even win. Are you for reals right now? Father Winter's got game from losing a fight with Father Winter. Wow. Bob did not think Father Winter had it, had that kind of spirit. That left jab out of the gate. Yeah, that was not expected. Ouch. And he's also got a cheated on. Oh, Bob, you deserve so much better but i think that's enough winterfest for us all honestly i just feel sorry for iggy he has been sad this whole time and he really does just deserve better than what he got i hope you guys have a more happy holiday than what iggy just went through let me know what you guys are gonna be getting up to this holiday season i absolutely love hearing people's like holiday traditions and like what you're planning on getting up to so please let me know but thank you all so much for tuning in thank you for the love and support this year i appreciate you guys so much and i will speak to you all in my next video Bye guys!